in the evenings with my family, we used to go to the top of the hill and we would look at the lights in the sky. And I had these sensations of being different than anybody else and not being able to communicate this difference. So this aspect of difference was, there was something huge, tremendous, unending, but I couldn't put my hand on it. I just was aware of, of something dark so that eventually things came to me and it was almost as if they were coming from, you know, sort of miles away. I think the first Samaras work that I saw was a pin box um, in 1961 probably or 62. There was something provocative uh, about it, uh, a kind of raw edge. He was um, withdrawn, hostile, difficult to communicate with, but there was something extraordinarily sweet about him. There was a sweetness under that surface and it was, it was apparent to me in very little time that it was a facade, that it was a protective facade. Part of Lucas's genius is he can make a world. And that's a really hard thing, you know? But when you walk into a space or a gallery where Lucas has a show, he has made a world for you to enter. When he was living in the West 70s on the Upper West Side, I remember going in the kitchen, that tiny, tiny kitchen out of which several decades of extraordinary work was created. The minute I was in that kitchen, I went, oh, this is the kitchen where that picture was taken. This is the kitchen where that picture, you know what I mean? It was almost impossible to tell where the art stopped and the life began. Even in the kind of living room, you know, it was like a Lucas Samaras artwork. The couch he'd made, the table he'd made, the forks were Lucas Samaras's, some of the glasses were Lucas Samaras's. It was a real example of your work being your life. Living has to do with providing some food for yourself, you know, going out shopping and you know, some clothes and so on, some walk for exercise, but also making something. Making something is part of my, uh, my living, my, um, my being, you know, my, my identity in a way, see. But if I don't do it, then it, it's kind of a, a small death, you know, it's, it's as if living in um, in deadness. And there was a little, little room behind the kitchen. And he would pull out so much work from behind the kitchen that I would always joke with him that he really owned the entire building next door and it was a Lucas Samaras factory. <laughs> 10 times more work than other artists would be pulled out of what was, I don't know, I never saw inside that room. I don't know how big it was, but I always kind of thought of it as a magic room. In that magic room, is the rest of Lucas's life. 